DNA holds the key of modernity. Biotechnology is the science for the new millennium. We draw the lines of life. We are the confluence of life and technology. We sow the seeds of the future. We are instrumental in sustainable development. We are the nation's lifeline. And we are the future of the country. We are the Department of Biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Our vision is to harness the potential of biotechnology as a premier precision tool for national development and well-being of society. And the scientists are working on that relentlessly. India's incredible stride into the world of biosciences and technological advances began in 1986 with the establishment of the Department of Biotechnology within the Ministry of Science and Technology Government of India. The department has over the years expanded its scope, leading to many innovative pragmatic solutions for local, regional, national and global problems. With sole focus on capacity building, strengthening the research base and building a translational ecosystem, the Department of Biotechnology has come a long way. To fulfill its aims, it was necessary to move from basic research discovery to innovation and connecting the whole enterprise. It has a mission of realizing the full potential of biotechnology by a well-directed effort, significant investment for generation of products, processes and technologies to enhance efficiency and productivity and cost effectiveness of agriculture, nutritional security, molecular medicine, environmentally sustainable technologies, scientific and technological empowerment of human resource, a strong infrastructure for research and commercialization, enhance the knowledge base, nurturing the leads of potential utility, bringing the bioproducts to the marketplace to achieve socio-economic development and upliftment of women, rural, SC and ST population. Investment is a major factor that has helped the department achieve this feat. Government of India's investment in the Department of Biotechnology has gone upwards exponentially from 4 to 6 crores in 1986 to 3,502.37 crores in 2021-22. DBT mission programs of national importance helps society a great deal. These include National Biopharma Mission towards Accelerating Affordable Product Development, Atal Jai Anusandhan Mission, DBT India Initiative, Garbhini, Interdisciplinary Group, for advanced research in birth outcomes to promote maternal and child health and develop predictions for preterm birth. Mission AMR for providing affordable diagnostics and therapeutics to tackle antimicrobial resistance. Indcepi mission to develop vaccines for potential virus outbreak threats like SARS, Ebola, Zika and coronavirus. Clean technologies like second generation ethanol technology. Technology for Biobutanol and Biohydrogen for Swachh Bharat. Biofortified and protein-rich wheat to contribute to the Poshan Abhiyan. Science for Society is the key mantra for Atmanirbhar Bharat. And DBT is contributing to help India achieve its aim of becoming self-reliant. It has established 16 institutes across the country, each with a specific mandate. It provides a strong and robust ecosystem of basic translational research which contributes nationally and internationally. National Institute of Immunology, New Delhi. National Center for Cell Science, Pune. National Brain Research Center, Manisa. Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics, CDFD, Hyderabad. National Institute of Plant Genome Research, New Delhi. Institute of Life Sciences, Bhuvaneshwar. Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development, IBSD, Imphal. Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology, Thiruvananthapura. Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine, Bangalore. Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Gurgaon. National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, Kalyani. Regional Center for Biotechnology, Faridabad. National Agri-Food Biotechnology Institute, Mohali. National Institute of Animal Biotechnology, NIAB, Hyderabad. CAB, Bioprocessing Unit, Mohali. And International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, New Delhi. These centers are accountable for generating skilled manpower, leading research and development efforts. 
to promote and nurture innovation and set up an entrepreneurial startup ecosystem, DBT has set up PSU's Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, BIRAC, with a mandate to promote startups and SMEs to undertake strategic research and innovation. Bharat Immunological and Biologicals Corporation Limited, BIBCOL, is interested in manufacturing oral polio vaccines, OPVs, and has played a significant role in the eradication of polio in the country. It also manufactures and produces zinc tablets and diarrhea management kit for treatment of diarrhea among young children, ready to use therapeutic food along with various other helpful products. Under the BioCare program, 140 women scientists have been supported so far, who have published approximately 125 research articles in the last five years. With the BioCare Award, 32 women scientists have got permanent employment at various universities and institutes. It has also granted several international fellowship programs to 246 students who have published approximately 100 research articles in the last five years. 70 new courses are supported under DBT PG Teaching Program, which has supported more than 8,000 students under PG Teaching Program. 3,500 fellows under DBT JRF program and about 750 scholars under DBT RA program. In the last five years, 15 PG diploma certificate courses have been supported under skill development program in agriculture biotechnology, medical biotechnology and computational biotechnology and skill vigyana program has been implemented in Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Odisha, Punjab and Uttarakhand. In order to popularize biotechnology activities in India, the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, provides financial assistance towards organizing conference, travel, exhibition and popular lectures CTEP, to the researchers for presenting their papers in the conferences which are being organized outside the country. It has sanctioned 2,106 CTEP proposals in the last five years. In order to inculcate the innovation spirit in the minds of people, bright awards are provided. In the last five years, 155 awards have been granted to the scientists for pursuing their research. In order to achieve its aims, it has also set up five regional centers, nine biotechnology parks and more than 3,500 startups all over the country. These help in research translation and commercialization of scientific research into technologies. Currently, it has 1,897 ongoing projects. In the last five years, it has sanctioned 3,113 projects, supported 22,128 scientists and 30,984 research personnel. It has also been successful in generating 502 technologies, 14,288 publications and 612 patents in the last five years. In order to take the technology forward, international partnership plays a major role. Keeping this in mind, department and its institutions have undertaken various bilateral and multilateral partnerships. It has undertaken various programs of cooperation with Sweden, Denmark, USA, Brazil, Cuba, South Korea, Australia, Canada, Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, Spain, UK, Russia, Finland and European Union. It has also undertaken various multilateral partnerships with Eureka, BRICS towards Sustainable Earth and various NGOs and universities. In the fight against coronavirus, the department has played a major role to mitigate the COVID-19 global health crisis. It has devised a multi-pronged research strategy and action plan for immediate response. Augmentation of COVID-19 response across the country and long-term preparedness to tackle the COVID-19 infection. The Department of Biotechnology, along with CSIR, ICMR and MOHNFW initiated Indian SARS-CoV-2 Genomics Consortium, INSACOG, in December 2020, with a primary aim to expand whole genome sequencing of SARS-CoV-2 virus across the nation. It has sequenced more than 1,81,471 viral genomes, of which 1,79,750 have been analyzed 
and results of 1,27,248 samples have been submitted to NCDC. Over 1.2 lakh sequences have been uploaded in Data Repository Global Database or GSAD portal. Two vaccines, namely Zycovid, world's first COVID-19 DNA vaccine, developed by Zydus Cadilla, Corbivax, India's first protein subunit vaccine, developed by Biological E, received emergency use authorization for use in adolescents and adults. The mRNA-based vaccine candidate, developed by Genova Biopharmaceuticals Limited, and the intranasal vaccine candidates, developed by Bharat Biotech International Limited, are in phase three clinical trials. DBT Birac supported startup was able to develop the first indigenous kit. DBT has provided 32,54,260 biotech COVID-19 services. DBT AMTZ Command has been developing diagnostic kits, mobile testing facilities, ventilators, PPE kits, non-contact thermometers, and masks to achieve self-reliance. Mission COVID Suraksha for research and development of Indian COVID-19 vaccines was announced by the Honorable Finance Minister on 12th November 2020. It will be implemented at a total cost of 900 crore rupees for 12 months by BIRAC. Three requests for expression of interest, REOI, were also announced for accelerating Indian COVID-19 vaccine development. DBT has also won the top honor amongst the nine tableaus from various ministries, departments and paramilitary forces. The tableau depicted Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, COVID, the process of vaccine development through various processes along with the efforts made by the scientists to manufacture the COVID-19 vaccine indigenously. Indian biotechnology sector's share is about 3% in the global biotech industry. The department has a vision to develop around 200 technology clusters, 10,000 startups and 250 incubators in the next five years. Currently, India ranks among the top 12 biotech destinations in the world and third in the Asia-Pacific region. It aims to be in the list of top three nations of the world by 2030. The Department of Biotechnology has been continuously turning possibilities into reality. For the last three decades, it has been creating opportunities for India by developing human resources for the youth. It is growing for the betterment of the people and public. And with the help of biotechnology, India would set a landmark on the world stage and make itself a world leader.